Covalent bonding comes from the sharing of electron pairs between the atoms. The strength of covalent bonding is usually described by dissociation energy, the energy to break the covalent bond. You may have an impression on how strong the covalent bonding is. Please notice that the double bonding or triple bonding between two carbon atoms show very high dissociation energy values, but pi bonds inside are weak, can be broken easily. Electronegativity is commonly used to describe the electron withdrawing ability of an atom. It characterizes the tendency of an atom to attract the shared electrons. According to the definition, it is found that fluorine, chlorine, oxygen, and nitrogen are the most electronegative elements. S block metals have electron negativities around 1. D block metals have electron negativity around 1 to 2. And P block elements have electron negativities larger than 1. In a molecule, due to the electron negativity difference, the electron pair may not be shared equally. One atom may have more charges than the other. The separation of charges leading to a molecule having an electrical dipole moment. Therefore, the molecule is polar with polar covalent bonding. Polar covalent bonds have a covalent character and some ionic character. So polar covalent bonds are stronger than non-polar covalent bonds. In brief, the strength of covalent bonding is associated with the bond length, bond order, polarity, and for example, aromaticity, uh, electron delocalization, and others.